you're here with us, say hi. And if you're watching on replay, say hi. We just feel we have a word in season for this time. Yeah, it's a, it's a word in season, spring, and so it's a growth time. Wow. Spring. Yeah. Spring forth. So actually, we were at a um, one of our awesome church prayer meetings last night and started to receive a word that we felt we wanted to share. And we're here on our, our happy place. We're here on our beautiful beach, this is our beach. <laughs> and uh, we just thought we want to come down here and get the feel and the atmosphere and can you hear the waves? So we want to bring a, a word for you and we hope this encourages you. And, and just feel like God is saying, spring forth. Spring forth into the overtake, the overrule, and the overflow. Yeah, that's it. So the spring, the, when, when you think of the word spring, that it has a sense of ease to it, a sense of lightness, and, and God wants us to spring forth into this next season. Are you ready to spring forth into the things that God has for you in this season? And the overtake, well, God is saying he's, he's causing his hand to be upon his people. It talks about how Elijah, it says the hand of the Lord was upon him, giving him supernatural strength so that he would overtake the, the chariots and, and, and uh, was faster than ever. And, and so I feel like God's saying his hand is upon his people, his open hand of generosity, causing each and every one of us to walk in a supernatural. Are you ready for this at this time? And the overrule, so God's saying that there is an overrule. When you overlay and cause an overrule of God's perspective, then it's going to cause a uh, cause His way to function and cause His His impression, His His way of, of doing things. So I want to encourage you to to allow the overrule of God, and also so that overtake, overrule, and overflow. Choose, choose to be repositioned. Choose to be repositioned in in a, in who God says you are. And at times that takes a, 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 a knowing who God is as well. Who is God in your life, and who is who are you in God at this time? Knowing your authority in a greater dynamic. Yeah. So we want to activate those things. We want you to activate those things. So we want to be able to overtake those circumstances, those situations in our lives that might slow us down, where things have slowed down, we want to be able to overtake those circumstances and, and, and go for the results we're after. But we've got to do something about it. We've got to activate that within our lives. We've got to think differently sometimes. And, and so we also want to overrule. So we want to take dominion over those situations that haven't changed and that should have changed. Uh, and take dominion and, and speak out the word of God about our desires and our wants and what he has said to us. So again, by faith, we've got to speak out and take dominion over our circumstances and command them to change. So again, we've got to expect a result. And, and so overflow will come when we do that, when we expect a result. And, and does it always happen instantly? No, unfortunately it doesn't. As much as we want it to. Yeah. Sometimes we have to wait. Sometimes it's a process. And, and so we want to be able to overtake and, and to overrule, take dominion over and to receive that overflow. So what are you expecting to receive? What are you expecting to overtake? What are you expecting to overrule? Or what circumstances in your life do you need to take dominion over because they're not changing? You need to speak the word of God. You need to build that. And, and to continue in that frame of mind so that your expectation keeps building and we see that change. It's definitely a repositioning. Lay hold of the repositioning. Don't be positioned where you are and know where God wants to position you, especially in your belief systems, especially in your thought processes. The Bible says, as a man thinks his heart, 
so is he. So we want to encourage you to find God's overtake, which is his supernatural strength. Find God's overflow, over, 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 over rule, so that his rules actually apply to your life rather than yeah. the rules and the circumstances and the situations. The thing is, if we know who God is, if we know who we are in God, then, then he gets to impress and uh, upon what we're doing. And, and we function from a completely different kingdom perspective. Are you ready for this? Are you ready then to be positioned for the overflow that God has for you at this time? And I think even as we, we spring into and spring with ease into this season, allowing the goodness, the faithfulness, the power of God and adjustments in our beliefs, then it's like there, there's, there's something going on, especially for September, October. Be aware that God is lifting his people up and repositioning them. Are you, there's, and if you understand the Hebrew year at all, there's a repositioning taking place in September and October. So let's pray this yeah. in, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So Lord, we just thank you for the thank results. You, we thank you that we can renew our minds yes. at this time to a new level. This is a growth time. Spring is growth. It's all about new shoots. It's all about new flowers. It's all about new things. And so we, we activate our minds to, to receive and think bigger above our circumstances. And we thank you for that. We, we, we take dominion over those circumstances, those things that need to change in, in us, in, the, in around us, in what we're doing. We take authority over that now in Jesus' name. Yeah. And, and, and we expect to receive that overflow because of the change in circumstances. Thank you for it, mm, Jesus. Yeah, and say with us, we receive. We receive, we receive. God's repositioning. We receive the overtake. We receive the, the overflow that God has for each and every one of us. And we want to bless you with these words. And if you're watching on replay, let us know. If you're here live, tell us what you're, how you're going to 